Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. Today will actually be a continuation of the experiment where we used a 3D model coated with a layer of primer and then used acetone to vapor smooth it. From that experiment, it would seem like acetone could smooth out the primer on the model, but we only had it in there for one night, so we didn't really have any conclusive results. So we'll find out today. I left the 3D model coated with a layer of primer inside a jar for 3 more weeks so that the acetone vapor can smooth it out even more, as what I assumed it would do. So let's see how it went. We'll take it out and have a look at it. It actually doesn't look like there's much of a difference compared to before. On the left side we have the model that was before 3 weeks, and on the right side we have the model after 3 weeks. It doesn't seem like it's more smooth than before. The layers are still there, I can still see it. So it doesn't look like it did any more smoothing after 3 weeks. It seems like it's only the initial phase which was effective, and now it's just stopped. So I guess any further smoothing will just have to look into other methods like sanding. Well there we have it. I left the model with a coat of primer inside a jar with acetone for vapor smoothing for another 3 weeks and it looks like it actually didn't do anything at all. The results are the same as before, not much of a difference. I can still see all the layers on a model or if it did do something to the print it can't be seen by the naked eye. I guess we just have to keep looking for an easier way to post-process our prints. Before I end, check out Tinkering U. It's a great platform to explore about 3D printing and there are a lot of free teaching resources for you to use. That's the end of our experiment today. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments we would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching, Tinker out.